what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so today i'm going to be trying out the disco gel liners from mccart they recently launched a disco collection with poly gels and gel polishes and now they have the gel liner where you can do the nail art straight out of the bottle and onto your nails i'm going to be honest normally I don't really like their gel liners because in the past they have been really thick and gloopy and hard to work with um, but these seem different like maybe they improve their formula or something because they're a lot easier to work with and that's what I look for when I go to use gel liners I want them to be easy to work with the brush to be nice and thin and like not gloopy and stuff because I mean that defeats the purpose of using a gel liner because you need it to be thin so you could do fine detail. This is actually a 10 piece set with 8 milliliter bottles and as you can see the brush is a lot thinner than some of the older ones so you could do fine detail work with them. So yeah I'm definitely here for these and they sparkle so nice under lights or even without lights like the sparkle is crazy on these that's what i like about them um so yeah i'm gonna swatch these on this swatch stick really quick i'm not doing any special design i'm just trying to see like all of the colors um so the lime green is called lime jelly the pink is called watermelon hype the darker red shade is called wild cherry um and then we have platinum member which is a silver um, and the gold is called Champagne Club. We have this nice blue shade called Raspberry Sour. The orange is called Tangy Orange. And they're really nice and pigmented. As you can see, I have no complaints there. And they're definitely not gloopy like the other ones. You do have to wipe your brush off a little bit, but that's normal with gel liners. Um, the purple is called Sugar Buttons. And then we have this yellowish gold shade called Lemon Drop. And I did cure the nail for 60 seconds and top coated and I just added some charms because I was bored. But yeah, I'm definitely here for these gel liners. I think they're a lot better than some of their older ones. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend these if you're interested in any of them. I'll leave my 15% off discount code in the description box so make sure you check it out. Alright, so let's jump into the tutorial. I did prep my nails off camera as always and dehydrated them with isopropyl alcohol. Now I'm applying two coats of my Mia Secret primer and then I'm going to be going in with a layer of base gel on my nails. I'm doing a poly gel set. Um, so right now I'm basically doing the base on all the nails. I'm going to be doing the nail art on top today. Sometimes I do like to encapsulate my gel polishes when the situation calls for it. But with these, I feel like you get more of that disco effect if you do the nail art on top of the nail. Um, so that's why I'm going to be doing the nail art on top. Um, like I said, if the situation calls for it, I'll encapsulate my gel polishes. But when it doesn't, I do my nail art on top if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm gonna cure that base gel for 60 seconds and now I'm gonna be applying this pink shade from Rosalind called Bright Pink to all the tips of my nails since I'm doing an ombre. I love this shade, it's kind of like a Barbie pink. Something about this pink, I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. Um, so yeah, I'm applying it to the tips of all the nails um, and I am using a little bit of base gel as a slip to help like apply the poly gel a little bit easier and i am just cleaning my brush off with, with some isopropyl alcohol when it gets a little bit sticky um you do want to make sure that you blend the poly gel up like where the tip and the natural nail meet so it's not like super thick there i do end up adding a little more poly gel onto this nail um, because it was a little bit sheer i guess i didn't add it enough
I am going to be flash curing my nails before I move on to the other two just so that um, I don't mess up my nails um, but I'm basically going to do the same thing for these two and like I said I'm going to be adding a little bit more to the middle finger nail because I didn't add enough at first and was a little bit sheer so I definitely wanted to add a little bit more to make the color more pigmented. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this light pink shade from Savalan called Gills Pink and I'm going to be using this as the top color for my ombre and I don't know what the problem was but these two shades were not blending together very well maybe because the bottom shade was so dark um, so I did have an issue with blending them so I tried my best to blend the two colors together and I actually ended up going in with a second layer um, to make the color a little bit more pigmented to see if they would blend a little better but still I was kind of having an issue with that so I'm just going to blend them the best that I can and then add a little bit of glitter like right where the tip and the natural nail meet to kind of like you know blend everything together a little bit more so you can't really tell that the two colors weren't blending together maybe it's just this poly gel I'm not really sure but it wasn't it wasn't working out for me i don't know what the issue was but yeah that was really strange i haven't used this poly gel in a while so i don't know what was going on but yeah as you can see this nail had like a little bit of a patch that would just like not blend i tried moving the poly gel into that area and it was just like annoying the heck out of me so i ended up going in with a little bit more to fix it up the best that i can So as you can see I'm going in with another small bead of that same pink shade over the nails and it did help a little bit to um, make the color a little more pigmented and kind of blend it into the tip a little bit better but it still wasn't to my liking so um, I'm just going to be applying a little glitter there like right in between where the two colors meet so that it looks more blended because it just wasn't working out. This is the glitter polish that I'm going to be using from Madame Glam. It's called Am I Clear and it's just a clear um, polish with some really fine um, iridescent glitters in it. So as you can see I'm applying it over like where the two colors meet and then I'm just using my brush to kind of like brush it up and down a little bit and it just makes everything look blended because it kind of like masks that like harsh line between the two colors. And now I'm going to be going in with some McCart Clear Poly Gel to encapsulate the nails since we have glitter on them and stuff. You want to encapsulate them so that you don't file through that glitter when you go to file shape and buff. I like to encapsulate my umbrays anyway because I like to work with thinner layers when I'm doing 
ombres it just works easier for me for some reason so i use the clear to kind of also build the rest of the structure of the nail like my apex and add some thickness to the tips of the nails so that they don't break or snap um, and of course to avoid filing through my blend or whatever um, so I'm just using my Cart Clear Poly Gel. As you can see, I've already squeezed how much I need onto the nails. Um, I usually leave that rounded end up by the cuticle area so that I can go ahead and use that to build my apex. And of course, we just pat the rest of the poly gel side to side down the nail, removing any excess and just smoothing the nail out before I cure so that like I don't have a lot of lumps or anything to follow. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and shape up my nails. I did cleanse them with some isopropyl alcohol to get that tacky layer from the gel off. So I'm using my fine grit um, ceramic drill bit for this and my nice bow nail drill per usual. So right now I'm debulking. I did actually take a lot off the sides though because at first I wanted to do a square shape, but then I changed my mind and said I wanted to do more of a coffin shape. Sometimes I do that, I'm weird like that. 
um so yeah i decided i wanted more of like a narrow coffin shape so that's why you're gonna see me taking down the sides quite a bit um i just i don't know felt like a thinner shape today sometimes i change my mind depending on my mood so yeah that's what we're doing so i'm basically just going around the cuticle um smoothing over the surface of the nail definitely filing underneath to make sure everything's out from underneath the nail filing along the side walls and like i said using my drill to take in the sides of the nail Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone. Yeah, I don't wanna put no pressure on ya. I just wanna put a blessing on ya. Since our last undressing session, I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my songs is popping out in Macedonia and even Serbia. I don't mean to burden ya. If you got a man system, I understand. Last thing I want to do is get you jammed, especially if he's the fan. He probably never want to hear my shit again. And I need every single sound scan. But if you single and you down, then I'm in your town feeling for another round. I was counting down the days, been more patient than a brown fan. Where that shit bet? Probably on your shoulder, cause I forgot to hit back. Left you on red. Apologies are said, but often never meant. Well, fuck that I repent for message never sent now. Tell me how strange it's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, just got in town, and I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often, but since recruiting isn't an option. Don't as 
Now I'm gonna take my hand file and shape up the nails. I like to do this last because I feel like the shape lasts longer this way. So like I said before, I'm doing a coffin shape. So I want my tips to be a little bit more narrow but not like super narrow. Um, so I usually start by taking the bulk off the sides of the nail. So I hold my file straight and file up the sides a couple times and then I hold my file at an angle and file in towards the tip of the nail and that's what's going to give you that coffin shape to your nails and to file the free edge of the nail you can hold your file at an angle and file straight across or up and down on um, whichever works best usually when I'm on camera I do straight across because it's a little easier since the way the dust collector and the camera is set up um, and I do kind of like file over the surface of the nail if I feel like, you know, I missed a spot with the drill just to further tighten up the shape and underneath the nails as well. I did actually buff over my nails off camera, but my camera died so I didn't catch that part. Now that the nails are file shaped and buffed, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing the flames. I'm using the color Watermelon Hype for this. I felt like it would be a really cute look with like all the different shades of pink. So the best way I could describe that I do this, at first I start off by making a dot on the nail to use it as a guide. Um, so I drag a line up each side of the dot, wiggling my brush to do the top part of the flame. And then I kind of just wiggle my brush and draw the rest of the flame as you can see it's kind of hard to explain you're better off just watching it than listening to me to explain i'm like terrible at explaining but yeah anyways after i do that i kind of like fill in the flame and just thicken up the lines and everything as i go and you know it just looks like a flame afterwards and it's a really pretty look with like all the different pinks however i did like top coat the nails off camera and i realized that the flames didn't really stand out after they were top coated, so I did decide to outline them later on.
So I'm going to be outlining all the flames with this shade from Nail Addict called Electric Rose. It's a really nice light pink shade and I feel like it really brought out the flames. It was a little bit hard to outline them because the lines up top were so thin. So yeah, you really have to keep your hand sturdy for this. I'm using this brush that I got from this Savalian brush set and I'm using the tip of my brush to get thinner lines. Um, and you kind of just want to outline the whole entire flame and it just makes it stand out more and I think it looked even more pretty with like all the different shades of pink even with like the outline of the flames so I'm happy that I decided to outline them because I really feel like you wouldn't even be able to see the flames as good if I didn't um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and outline these and then I'm gonna be top coating them um, afterwards it looks so pretty like with the flash and everything even without the flash they sparkle like crazy I'm really like obsessed with this like flash flame type of look um, I hope you guys like this set let me know what you think in the comments if you're new to the channel I would love it if you subscribe before you leave I post nail tutorials and reviews every week so you don't want to miss out and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok I'll see you guys in my next video bye love you guys